2022. Thanks for joining us. I'm George Gerbo. Schools, churches, grocery stores, and now community parades have all become killing grounds for mass shooters in recent months. This time, the bloodshed came as the nation tried to find cause to celebrate its founding and the bonds that still hold it together. Six people were killed and at least 30 injured as a gunman shot from a roof at parade goers in the Chicago suburb of Highland Park, Illinois. Highland Park Police Chief Lou Jogman said that police arrested 22-year-old Robert Cremo III for the attack after an hours-long manhunt. Police believe he began shooting from a rooftop sometime around 10 a.m. Central Time and was using a rifle that was recovered at the scene. Russia has declared victory in Ukraine after capturing what had been Ukraine's last major stronghold in the Luhansk province. Ben Wolfgang reports Russia has dropped its plan of capturing major cities and found more success slowly expanding its hold on regions of eastern Ukraine already controlled before the war by pro-Russian separatist groups. The military analysts say Ukraine's retreat will allow its battle-hardened forces to form more defensible lines, while Russia may find it hard to pacify the Ukrainian populations in the new areas that it controls. Russian President Vladimir Putin indicated he's intent on capturing all of the Donbas region, having scaled back his aims after Russia's initial campaign ended in failure. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky framed the withdrawal from Luhansk as a temporary one and said his troops made a strategic choice to set up defensive lines elsewhere. You can read all of these stories at WashingtonTimes.com slash front page. If you don't have access to the Times yet, you can visit WashingtonTimes.com slash George for a special subscription offer. Suicide has quietly become an epidemic among police officers, ranking as the top cause of officer deaths this year. Jeff Mordock reports 64 law enforcement officers in the United States have died by suicide so far in 2022. That's an average of more than 10 per month, according to Blue Help, a nonprofit that keeps such statistics. Experts say the number is likely higher. Blue Help's data is based on reports from local police departments, and those departments are hesitant to provide accurate numbers because of the stigma attached to suicide and that it's not considered a line-of-duty death. That means families of officers who took their own lives don't typically get benefits. The 64 reported suicides account for 32% of the 197 officer deaths this year, higher than any category of -of line-of-duty deaths. The rise in officer suicides comes as the national suicide rate declined by 3% last year, according to the most recent data from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. And finally, 90 Democratic-leaning attorneys general and district attorneys have signed a joint statement pledging not to pursue criminal charges for violations of abortion statutes. Valerie Richardson reports the prosecutors come from 29 states, one territory, and the District of Columbia. They represent a total of 91.5 million constituents, including 28.5 million in 12 states where abortion is now banned or likely to be banned, said Fair and Just Prosecution, which organized the statement. Not all of us agree on a personal or moral level on the issue of abortion, reads the statement, but we stand together in our firm belief that prosecutors have a responsibility to refrain from using limited criminal legal system resources to criminalize personal medical decisions. Find all today's front page stories at WashingtonTimes.com slash front page or the Washington Times app and find us wherever you get your podcast. Just search Washington Times in any major podcast app. You can also find us on Twitter and Instagram at Wash Times for breaking news, sports, commentary, and more. For the Washington Times, I'm George Gerbo. Thank you.